Hey everyone, Therapist Jen here. In the fall, does your mood dip? Stay with me for just a couple little tips and tricks of things that you can do to use food to better your mood this fall. And if you're not following me, please do. So why is it that in the fall, we start to just feel a little meh, maybe a little more apathetic, not as much energy, our mood starts to shift. Our serotonin levels are actually going It's happening. What are some signs that this is happening? I'll give you some of my personal examples. Hmm, I start to get a little warm, especially in the evenings, and I'm thinking, okay, like I'm in my 40s, is it, is it too early for hot flashes? How about this idea of increased irritability? For everybody, this is a little different. For me, I start snapping over things that I, I really shouldn't snap over, okay? Then, how about another one? Do you start to have these thoughts that are just recurrent and they're almost like impulsive, okay? And that they don't go away. I recently had this leading to a pair of purchased earrings on Amazon mm -hmm, that I didn't need. I had this thought that stuck longer and longer and longer and longer. And what was it? It led to an impulsive action of me buying earrings. I like to say, no, it's just an Amazon addiction. No, girl, it's probably because your serotonin's dropping. How about your appetite? Typically, when your serotonin levels start to decrease, your appetite starts to decrease as well, and you're just not as hungry anymore. Or how about pain? Things that you might be able to withstand when it comes to pain historically, all of a sudden, you're just more sensitive to it. Are you grabbing the ibuprofen more? Or maybe the peppermint oil? Another good holistic idea. Is it happening more though for you? It might be because your serotonin levels are starting to decrease. Or are you like myself? who has maintained on a SSRI for a very, very long time. And yet, even in the fall, I still feel these dips. So what do I end up doing? I end up increasing my SSRI from November till about mm, April because the dips in my mood are just too much for me to manage. Do you fit any of those criteria? If you do, Start to experiment with a few different foods that are shown to naturally produce more serotonin for you and your body. Foods that are high in niacin, which is also your B3, iron, tryptophan, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin B6. Think about it for a minute. I wanna to focus today on iron. Let me give you some really quick ideas for foods that you can eat that are high in iron. Here we go. Do you like lentils, tofu, spinach, any kind of green beans or kidney beans? How about chickpeas, pumpkin seeds, fortified cereals? Check those. Sometimes they've got a higher level of iron in them. Sardines, canned tomatoes, edamame, super iron food. Shellfish, any kind of black beans, um, something super high in iron that you might not think of? dried apricots. So there's just a quick down and dirty nitty gritty iron category. Foods that you can eat that are higher in iron that are actually going to boost some of your natural production of serotonin levels in the brain, okay? Have you given this a shot? Try it, see if it helps.